the chief's assistant for the Shawnee Police Department. And like many of you, I have been drinking an unprecedented amount of coffee from home lately. So I wanted to go over with you today my favorite way to brew coffee from home with a French press. I think some things that might intimidate people about using a French press is that the process might seem like too much every morning or that the investment might seem like too much as well. So with the process, although you can't hit a button and have it ready for you when you wake up in the morning, the steps really aren't that many. And um, for the investment, you can find all kinds of models for as cheap as $20 or less or $100 or more. So the thing that I really like about mine is that it's stainless steel, so it means it's been really durable. I've had it for over seven years and um, it's doing great so I'll have it for years to come after that. And it's double walled which means I can really savor my first cup of coffee and still come back for another hot cup or two after So uh, once you determine the French press that's right for you, you want to consider how many cups you'll want it to make and what kind of material that it's made out of. If you don't already have one, I would also um, recommend buying a coffee grinder. Um, I like to use whole bean coffee. I think it's a really great way to support my local roasters and I think that they make really amazing flavors and the whole bean stays fresher longer. So when you're ready to start your first French press, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start by turning on your water. So um, I use an electric kettle. I think that that works a lot faster, but a stovetop kettle is a great option too. So if you have either of those, those will be great. Um, so you're going to want to let your water boil while you're getting your um, beans and coffee, your, your coffee press ready. So I like to use five scoops, so just a standard coffee scoop. I like to use five scoops for mine, which holds a little over five cups of coffee. So it's 1.2 liters of water. So five scoops for 1.2 liters of water is my preference. I would recommend um, maybe using a little bit more coffee in a French press than you would in a drip machine because um, I, I think the, the process changes the flavors a little bit and this one just um, a little bit more coffee will, will make a good and not bitter flavor. So, so your water has boiled, you're going to want to first add your coffee beans. So you'll add your beans and then after your beans are in. You're going to grab your water. And most French presses have a fill line. So you're going to fill your French press up to the fill line and not over. If you fill it over, it is going to leak out. So once you have your water added, you'll then place the lid on top, but leave the plunger up. So you will let it brew about five minutes. I like to just kind of go about my morning, so finish getting ready for work or helping my daughter get ready for school. And then when I think about it again, I'll come in, press the plunger down, and get ready for my first cup of coffee. So if you guys have been thinking about doing a French press, I really encourage it. I think that it makes a um, fuller and less bitter cup of coffee than a drip machine does. And um, it's just the right amount for me. I'm the only person in my family that drinks coffee from home usually. So I'm not feeling like I'm wasting a lot of coffee that I might waste in a uh, drip machine. So thank you so much for watching and bye.